Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Meghnath. In this module, we will learn how to read data from user and how to print it. Let's get started. Now, let me open Eclipse IDE. So I already have the instance running here. Let me open that. And you can see here my lesson four package is still open. So what I'll do now is I need to close the project. So right click on this project on Project Explorer and close the project. Now I'll be doing lesson five project. So what I'll do here is file new Java project and I'm giving here lesson five project and um, I'll click on next and I'm fine with this. I don't want to create module info. Click on finish. Now I created lesson five and as usual we have SRC here. Right click on this new package and I'll write here lesson five package finish. Now, as usual, once we add a package, we need to add a class inside this. I'll be creating new class and I'll write here lesson five. And I want main method. So public static void main, check this checkbox and click finish. Now, the first thing that I do as usual, I'll just put those brackets here and remove the space. And that's it. So we have created the project for lesson five. That is how to read data from user. Now what we have to do is, I need to read, let's take I want to read uh, something like name and print it. Now name is a string because it is having sequence of characters. Now I'll write here string name. Now if I want to ask user to enter the name. So I have to write here SYS4 space enter your name. Now once user enters the name, Let's take once this message displayed, user will enter the name at the next line, or maybe user enters the name here. So what we have to do, we need to store the name into a, we need to scan that name and store it into a variable, this variable name. So for scanning the data from user, we use scanner class. And let's see this. Now what I have to do here is I need to write scanner obj is equal to new scanner and so this is don't worry about what is this object creation and all so scanner is a class i'm creating an object for it and i'm writing new scanner and i want to scan from standard input system input so i have to write system dot in so that's a standard way to write it and this is a class that is present in java.util package so i have to get that package now so when i move the mouse on this when I move the mouse on this, you can see here it's showing import scanner. So don't worry about these two. Those are legacy ones like com.sun.java. So I need java.util. Let me click on this. Now once I import that, you can see here. So this is our package name. And I'm importing this java.util package. And I'm importing only one class in this package, java.util.scanner. Now I'm creating an object for this, scanner obj is equal to new scanner. And for now, again, uh, for now, just uh, follow the steps that I'm doing it. You will understand this later. What is this import? And uh, why we are importing this java.util is because I'm using scanner and scanner class is present in this package. Now, if you want to import complete package, including all the classes, you can put here star. So when you put java.util.star, it'll include all the packages, all the classes in this package. But since I'm using only one class scanner, so I don't want it something like you go for a hotel and, and there is a buffet system there, buffet system there. So you don't want to get everything to your plate, right? So whatever you need, you'll get to the plate and you eat it, right? So something similar here. So I need only the scanner class. I don't need all the classes in this package. So I don't want to put star here. Rather, if you are using more than two, three classes, then it's better to put star. But uh, if you're using only one class scanner, better to put scanner there. So I'll just put scanner. And now, now after this, what you have to do is you need to write here, name is equal to obj dot next. Now enter. Now, now this obj dot next will will read whatever you enter after this. It'll read it'll read into the variable name. Now I'll I'll just write sysoo. I'll just write here name. So that'll print the name you entered. Now let's see how this code works. Let's run the code and see how this works. Now I'm clicking on this execute here, run lesson5.java, click on this. 
now every time this pop-up will come so you can actually select here always save the results before launching so and um, anyway let's click on OK now you can see here it is showing enter your name so here because of this enter your name message I'm printing it it's showing it now obj.next I want to store into the name variable so whatever I type here so let me type here Meghnath now when I type enter that will be stored in this variable name and it's printing this line so this line 16 is actually printing this Meghnath this this is being stored into this name and it's printing now while printing it I can just print Meghnath that I can also print your name so I can write here uh, you entered you entered colon and close the double quotes and you can put here plus plus is used for string concatenating and you want to concatenate here let me minimize all this yeah so here you want to concatenate with this name variable so just put here name so what's the use of this the use of this is it showing you entered and it is concatenating with this value that you entered so I didn't give any space here so if I run this code now if I run this code now immediately after you enter it will show the name that I entered now see here I'm entering Meghnath and it's showing you entered there is no space here it's showing Meghnath now if I need some space here so let me give some space here and now let's run this code once again so now you can see here I'm entering my name which is storing a name variable and it's showing you entered Meghnath so you can see there is a space here and it's showing you entered Meghnath so what we have done here is using scanner class we create an object and note that scanner is present in system.util and we just imported not the complete package but only the class scanner and if you want to import the complete uh, package you just need to write java.util.start that will import the complete, complete package but since we don't want the complete package we just need one class right here scanner class so in this case we are importing only this from from the package java predefined packages right and then we wrote obj.next is used to read string into this variable and it's printing it now what if I want to read age of a person or what if I want to read number so in this case so I have to write here number is an integer so it's not a string so I have to write let's take I want to read age of a person so I have to write here int age now now I this line remains same so here system dot out dot printl and I have to ask user to enter your age and here if I just put dot you can see when I put next so and next I so when I see I here so you can see it showing next int so next int is used to read the integer from the user so now when I click on this now when I enter this next int so that will store this here I have to write age and here system dot out dot println your age is and again I have to write here simply age so that's it so now this time for reading integer we are using next int for reading a, a string we are using next so for string it is just next for reading integer it's next int right so let's run the code and let's see if it works I'll execute this code click OK I'm writing here enter your age I'm writing here let's take 90 enter so you can see here your age is 90 so it's working fine right so now in case if you want to read some other data types now so you can see here next so we have int next to byte we have next to short we have see here next int for storing integer next byte for storing byte next short for storing short data type and even it should have next long as well so you can see here next long is there and let's see if next float is there so you can have next float so in case you want to read something in decimals you have to use next float okay so I hope you are able to find how to read uh, so what you have to practice now is read uh, a string from the user using next and read a uh, age of a person from the user and print it so I hope you are clear with how to read uh, data from the user using scanner object. So in the next module, we'll see you again. Thank you.